Hey, good morning, everybody. It's your girl. How is everybody doing? So this morning, um, God is good. Don't forget that. So I'm going to talk about what I'm seeing lately um, on social media, where friends are killing friends um, over either money or a new job or the fact that someone got a visa to travel abroad or just over a man. And it got me thinking, this whole thing called friendship has really, really been grossly messed up. As in, someone is your friend and the person is doing well. It's not a job at you. It's not, a, it's not, it's not to your detriment. I mean, if you have a friend that is doing well and you're not doing well, even if they're rubbing it in your face, I mean, why would you have to kill somebody? end someone's life just because you're not happy for the person because you're jealous i mean what about you see that moment you're mad or you're pissed and you need to do something to make yourself feel good but what about after when your that anger goes away when that you know envy that green-eyed monster goes back into wherever it came from what happens then then that's when people say oh my eye don't clear truth is this thing called friendship these days, it's, it's a risk. It's riskier than what's risky these days now. Like jumping in front of a truck. I'm telling you the truth because you don't even know who to trust anymore. Everybody's like, you know, out there for themselves. I mean, you got a job or you got married or you had, I mean, you have a kid or you had a baby. Sorry. And then you know, just find out. I was reading something recently where the girl was like, I'm trying all my best to really hurt this girl, but it's not working. You know, I, I, I try to set her husband up, it's not working. I try to take her clothes to go do voodoo. I was I was shocked. Like I, I was like and then the person was responding, Come on, this girl has been there for you. Everything you've told me about her, they're all lies because the girl is really nice. She didn't know me before, but she patronized my business and she doesn't use my product, but she just wanted she just wanted to, you know, help her sister out. And I was wondering, I'm like, so you sit down with somebody that has so much venom in them for you. You're eating with them, you're drinking with them, you're chatting with them, you're telling them your problems, your issues, and they're thinking of how they want to kill you. Seriously, that is something that it's scary. I mean, to make friends these days, like I, everybody has friends. I mean, you have your old friends, you're making new friends, but it's a scary thing. I'm telling you, sometimes I just rather just sit by myself and yeah i do actually i found that lately i'm more of an introvert now than an extrovert when growing up i was really an extrovert like i had to be out there but right now i prefer just being indoors being by myself just you know not being with anybody just being by myself and uh, maybe it comes with age whatever it does i don't know but i'm just saying that please out there you know if you're envious of your friend if you're hating on your friend you don't like your friend for whatever success or whatever achievement please don't resort to killing or even hurting or even doing anything to harm them it's not worth it go do your own thing and get your own money get your own husband have your own children if you can have your children adopt children there are many children in the world i remember some guy years ago he told me he only had a kid and i'm like oh you're done he's like well i look at it this way that's what he told me there are many people out there that need fathers you know or that needs a father and i just want one of mine like that has my own dna and i would adopt and i'm not joking i i saw this dude that eight children he's taking care of you know they call him daddy you know, so instead of hating on your friend for marrying that man that's your dream man or hating your friend for getting that job that you go out there, just ask. So many people have lost a lot of things because they're jealous of somebody instead of asking the person for help. Just ask and say, guy, how you to do this thing? Girl, how you to do this thing? I'm sure if they don't tell you, then Google and search, you'll find it. Stop trying to hate on people. Stop trying to kill people. Stop trying to hurt people. Stop trying to harm people because they're doing better than you. You, you, or they, they, they seemingly have what you want. Marriage not be by force. To get a job not be by force. If you do your own thing, everybody that God created has their own different, unique talent. I'll borrow from two faces. We are all gifted and unique in our different ways. Your ways are not my ways. What God blessed you with is not what God blessed me with. The thing is that just find your own unique self and work with it. 
everything will work out for you. You don't have to be hating on somebody because they're doing it effortlessly. There's, there's some things that you can do effortlessly too. You don't have to. Why are, you, why are people killing? Why are you hating on your friend? Why are you backbiting? Why are you destroying your friend? Why? For what? Because you want to feel good? Okay, so that moment, that high, when you feel good about yourself after hurting her, after harming him, then what? Back to square one, basically, because there's going to be someone else you want to hurt again. So you're just going to be a serial killer or, I'm sorry, serial harder or serial harmer. Or serial, the words like that. It's about you. Work on yourself, you know. If there's somebody out there that, that that's doing what you like, if you can't talk to the person for pride, whatever stupid pride that is, then find a way to Google. Look for a way to say, how do I become da, 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 da. And follow the steps. I mean, there's nothing you can find on Google now. There's absolutely nothing you can find on Google and YouTube. So I said all of that to say, basically, if you are in a relationship or a friendship where you have, you constantly find yourself hating on your friend, you know, resenting your friend for no reason, you follow and laugh, fool. Please, please take ten steps back, because now it's so easy for people to kill. It's so easy for people to hurt. It's so easy, it's so easy for people to harm people. So easy. Like, it's normal now. You go on Facebook, you go on YouTube, go anywhere, you just see people hurting people. Like, it's normal. So, let's bring ourselves together. I mean, I mean, and if, if you just find yourself just hating on somebody, you know, pray about it. Ask yourself, why? Why do I? Why am I hating on my friend and, and, and she's nice to me or he's nice to me? Most of the time, you are the problem. Deal with yourself. Sort yourself out. God, can, God will help you if you ask for his help. You know? And have a wonderful day, people. It's Wednesday, midweek. God bless you, as always.